You're still watching Ways Now. Today is World Consumer Rights Day. The theme of the World Consumer Rights Day 2021 is Tackle Plastic um, Pollution. The theme aims to create awareness against the use of plastic to save our ecosystem. The day serves as an an annual occasion for celebrating and um, solidarity within the international consumer movement. It also raises awareness on consumers' rights and the needs um, and their needs, rather, so as to enable customers to fight against social injustice. So happy World Consumer Day for all the consumers. <laughs> all right, so Lamy, human rights activist. <laughs> yes. What do you know about, yes. what do you know about right. consumer <laughs> rights? Ah, don't let, don't, don't let people start, okay? Funny enough, at the party I went yesterday, I met the GM of Lagos State Consumer Protection, something, something. And that was the part of our discussion all through yesterday, how consumers are treated in Nigeria, mm -hmm. customer service and all that. So I think we should bring them to the show. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Because do we, do we really have those um, um, things in Nigeria where you can actually go and fight for it and you eventually, you know, come out, you know, with some good compensation like we have abroad? That, yeah, that's what, that is the GM of Lagos State Consumer Protection Yeah, I know. You, you know we have a lot of offices. They actually get this and they work. How effective, you don't get the point, uh, question, Lamy. We know we have a lot of those offices. Oh, yes. is this effective? Yes. You have to bring him to the show to explain that. Well, okay, so maybe you should, you should send you him an email. You don't find a number of these agencies work. It's just that we don't have sufficient information about that. Mm, absolutely. All right, so what did you find for us in the news, Lamy? Okay. It was about a story, sorry, it's about um, a certain lady who poured hot boiling water on her husband. And um, what I saw in it was that the first thing that I saw was the mental state of the woman. From her story, you see that she had um, five children, probably from the same man, and she accused her husband of being perpetually in a drunken state. So uh, I can, I just put myself in her shoes of what she would have, you know, taken in the course of the marriage. She might probably even be the breadwinner. You know, she might just be a petty trader trying to, to source for the livelihood of herself, her children, and probably the husband, you know. So what I saw is the, a, a lacuna in um, support in Nigeria. We don't take mental support seriously in Nigeria, and especially for women. Women are taking a lot of things. In the most homes now, I won't say most homes, in many homes now, you find out that women are the economic uh, drivers, or the, the, the bread. Mm. They are still expected to perform their traditional roles. That's why the man has abrogated his own traditional role, which is supposed to be the provider. The woman will still take it on. She will still be the one that would, you know, provide for the home, ensure that the children eat, ensure that the children go to school. She still has to juggle her work and all that. So, so imagine that I are now faced with a drunken woman. husband. What do you think? I mean, it's going to be like, I can't even so imagine. Can you come again, please? I said, imagine all of those stress that you've mentioned to be faced with a drunk, a man that comes home drunk all the time. And yes, if, if, absolutely does not care. Give mm -hmm. a foot in the world. And another issue that I also see is she might have um, made complaints to her family. And what I know is that, especially in Nigeria, when there's a problem in the family, it's the woman. From your family side, the woman's family, they blame her. Mm -hmm. From her husband's family, they blame her. Mm -hmm. You know, so she has no outlet. There is no way to really pour problems and all that and get support. Mm -hmm. They keep keeping the blame on the woman. Go home. Go and sort out your home. Go and be submissive to your husband. Even in the wake of the husband not being responsible. How easy or what, is it to be submissive to a man that is irresponsible? It is very tough. Or what, it is very hard. So I think in in a, I think in a state of you know momentarily uh, madness, momentary madness, she might have done that. Mm. So I really pity the woman. She's going to lose you know custody of her children. She's going to go to jail. No, but if they can ascertain, let me, let me. Can you hear me? If they can ascertain that she is mentally 
um, not okay if they can do a, psycho, a, a psycho, psychological analysis on her mental state and they find out that she's mentally unstable. I mean, should, shouldn't it ease of the, what's it called, the sentence or whatever it is that she's going to get? Oh, I, I think the, the internet is really interfering. So can you please come back? Okay, so you come again? let me try to come again. I'm saying that if they are able to ascertain that mentally she's unstable, can you hear me? I, I don't think you can hear me, let me. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let me just take my story. Um, so my story is actually an interesting one. The federal government congratulates Burner Boy, Whiskey over Grammy Awards. Um, the Minister for Information and Culture, Alaji Laya Mohammed, has congratulated music stars Burner Boy and Whiskey over their Grammy Awards um, victory. In a statement issued in Lagos on Monday, the minister described the much-deserved award as fitting uh, rewards for the persistent hard work of the duo. He also said that the award also represents a global endorsement for the Afrobeat genre of music that has um, propelled Nigeria's increasing dominance of the music world. So he expressed the hope that clinching of this prestigious award by the two music stars would not only spur them to greater heights, but would also serve as a source of inspiration to others. Well, Whiskey did not really... Um, uh, get the award is more of um, he was recognized based on be the work he did with Beyonce, but Burner Boy was one that won the award. But I'm just saying that you know I wish Lamy could um, hear me well. I'm just saying that this kind of award, I'm just wondering um, how much you know are we going to keep impacting on the local talents that we have here because some of these people, I mean, for Burner Boy, I know his mom works extra hard to make sure she pushes her son out there. So just imagine if the the government is very deliberate about, you know, the quality of minds that we have here in Nigeria, even beyond music, everywhere. We actually excel wherever we go to. But we'll take a break because Lami can't hear me. I'll take a break. When Congratulations to them. Oh, okay, you heard me. I thought you were, I thought you had gone a wall. <laughs> Uh, all right, so congratulations to them. I'm happy for them. I'm just saying that the government should push more to bring more talent out of Africa because we are blessed with a lot of talent. All right, so we will take a very short break. When we return, we'll continue the conversation with our guests. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 